After living and working in the city, Harry and Karen Pell were looking for an escape from the everyday hustle and bustle. Over time, the Pells traded city life for a different kind of hustle, the kind that goes along with managing a 1,500-acre woodland they call Tallow Creek Farm. They have since received multiple accolades for being good stewards of their woodlands, but it didn't happen overnight. We were looking for a place to hunt, so we came back here and uh, hunted on this place a time or two and uh, ended up buying it. And when we came, it was nothing here. There was no water, no ponds. The first summer we came down here, camped and working and cleaning up stuff and all that. We said, that was our, our first project was this pond right here. He said, man, we need to. We gotta get some water. The farm lies in both Taylor and Marion counties in South Central Kentucky. As the Pells spent more and more time on the farm, they realized they wanted to find a way to make it pay for itself long into the future. Neither Harry nor Karen had a background in farming, but they did know how to be resourceful. That's when they considered managing their land for timber production. You know, I'm not a farmer and I'm not confused about that. So I'm, if I planted the row crop, it, it wouldn't turn out too good, I don't think. So we started with the, with the fish and game guys, Department of Wildlife, Fish and Wildlife. And uh, they said, well, you know, you ought to get a, you ought to get a uh, forest stewardship plan and get a forester out here. And so we did that and, uh, you know, then we heard about some different things with NRCS and got a, a flyer or two from uh, UK Extension and we got interested in the woodland owners and the woodland owner short courses. Boy, those things are great for people that, uh, you know, that own, own ground and then uh, the Kentucky woodland owners and, you know, all every resource we can get our hands on, we try to use. So, and they've all helped us a lot. Over time, the Pells have taken advantage of programs offered through state and federal agencies. Through these landowner-focused programs, the Pells learn to manage their woodlands using techniques like timber stand improvement and wildlife habitat improvement. By actively managing their land, they have set their farm up to be a valuable resource now and for generations to come. Their efforts have not gone unnoticed, and they have been awarded the Kentucky Tree Farmer of the Year, Kentucky Forest Stewards of the Year, Kentucky Fish and Wildlife State Landowner of the Year, and most recently, the 2017 Kentucky Leopold Conservation Award. All of these awards are given in recognition of voluntary stewardship and management of Kentucky's natural resources. You know, that's our goal is to try to keep this place a, a functioning large piece of property over the next few generations and the only way it's going to be able to do that is if it can sustain itself and uh, the, the trees are what's going to, going to do that. So I'm working with, with my grandkids to improve their harvest when they harvest this place. I think they all love it. I think they've really learned a lot from him on, you know, how to take care of it and I think it's something that'll stay in the family for generations. When you open the paper and you see a 100 acre farm chopped up into 15 lots of, you know, eight acres a piece, and uh, once it's sold like that, it's never coming back. That, that's why I want to see this place sustain itself, and that means it's got to pay its way, you know. And, and uh, the only shot this place got at paying its way, it's not farm ground, is, uh, is the timber. So that's why we manage this timber and, and uh, my grandsons are learning a lot about it. And uh, that's what will keep this place as one big piece of ground, if, if that's possible. You know, who knows what's coming down the line. But uh, if the income's there, then, then the farm's got a shot. By utilizing best management practices included in their Kentucky Agriculture Water Quality Plan and programs offered by state and federal agencies and organizations like the Kentucky Woodland Owners Association, the Pells are well equipped to continue managing their woodlands responsibly into the future. For more information about developing your Kentucky Agriculture Water Quality Plan or to learn more about forest stewardship, visit our websites. <music>